Hello and welcome! My name is Strawberry Tiff and this is my very first YouTube video. I will be doing a cottagecore series um, today starting off with the house. This is in no way a tutorial, this is just me experimenting and seeing what I like to do. Um, and this series will be all in creative because that's how I like to play. Anyways, I hope you enjoy my first video! Alright, so the first thing I wanted to do was clear out a little bit of this grass and... Oh, oh this is so embarrassing. Come on girl, get your shit together. Here I am, just floating away. Okay, listen, your girl's a little bit rusty, okay? I go through Minecraft phases. I like to keep the land clear just for building. I, I usually add back the grass later because I like the messy look of the grass. It's just that when I'm building, I need a clear headspace. Now that that's done, this is the color palette that I wanted to go for. Something kind of um, neutral, brown, earthy, cottagecore, you know. Alright, so starting off, I wanted to make a base for my house using stone. I like to use a variety of stones so that it's not so flat looking to the eye. Um, not like that, but with different pieces here and there, just really randomly. There's no pattern to it, so whatever you feel. Um, throughout this video, you'll probably see that the way I like to build my house, I want it to be cute, but also a clusterfuck. I'm just figuring out my dimensions here. I think I decided with 10 by 10 for the main part of the house. And then I decided to also have a little room hanging off of the side of the house. And I think I decided with eight by eight for the smaller room. So this is what the floor plan kind of looks like. So I have the main 10 by 10 room. And then the smaller room, I have it offset by two blocks. Next, I'm deciding on the color schemes I want to go for for each room. So basically the main room and the side room, I wanted to have different colors going on. The main room I decided with um, variations of white blocks and then the side room I decided on variations of brown earthy tones. Ooh, okay. So then I got really distracted and I was like, I want to build like a little um, extended corner where I can have a fireplace and then like basically the chimney will come out of that little extra square that I added. Skipped a few chapters there. Oh, okay, so I, I ended up moving the white terracotta over from the side room to the main room here and there. It has like a pink tint to it, which is weird because it's supposed to be white terracotta. I don't know, I've always loved it because I like pink. Uh, okay, and then watch me friggin' struggle with the side room because I can't figure out the color scheme. Like, it does not look good here. Like the main room, beautiful chef's kiss but this like the colors do not work they're too different it just oh, it looks so bad you know what this looks like when like you put your hot cocoa powder into water and then like you're trying to stir it but it's all like chunky okay but guess what block this is this is the mushroom stem block like it's so random but it's so cute muted brown i love it i decided the whole side room can just be one color so like I like the color but now it just looks really flat because I only used one block so I started panicking just a little bit. Um, I decided to put in windows seeing if that will hopefully help. Um, I usually don't like doing windows until like the end but here I was just desperate. Ooh, Yogi, you just gotta trust the process. Trust. Trust. Okay that window was just not helping so I decided to just skip to the roof. Um, I thought the roof would make everything feel a little bit more complete. Slight panic intensifies here. So I came up with this. Um, I feel like it's pretty cute, but you know what I see? There's like two little points that stick out of the sides. They look like mini cat ears. I don't know if it's just me, but this like sparked something in me. I was like, I am going to build cat ears on my roof. This is with the cat ears. I hated it because it basically just looks like like a square with a roof. I don't know. So bad. I got rid of it. This is the oldest trick in the book. I will never outgrow this. This was like one of the first things I learned when I started playing Minecraft. Dirt and trap doors. We're 
windows don't always work with the whole cottage core look so sometimes I like using fencing and um, I basically just make a hole at the fencing it lets a little bit of light through not a lot but it just adds a little bit of a rustic look honestly not a big fan of the 2 by one fencing because it's like the same dimensions as this door so I changed it and I just made it one gorgeous gorgeous girls use lanterns and not torches um, I was kind of experimenting with the chain links here this one looks kind of weird they're like all hanging down too low the chain looks too long so I ended up fixing it a little bit made that one a little shorter I like the asymmetrical look so that's why I have two on one side one on the other I don't know the chains just look super weird to me so I started experimenting with slabs honestly I think the slabs are my favorite part of the house um, it adds character about glow lichen is that I don't really like the color of it it's too soft but I don't like using vines because vines are too hard to maintain if you want to use vines there's a trick where you can use string and you place the string around the vines and it basically prohibits the vines from growing but I'm just a little bit lazy here the string is honestly pretty invisible and you can't see it so that's a good trick to use adding barrels to the roof just like replacing a few of the blocks here and there can add some texture. Oh, sorry, sometimes it's hard to place. Um, yeah, I feel like that looks pretty cute. Okay, hear me out. I know this roof is just really weird and flat, so why don't we grow a rooftop garden? I love the super overgrown look anyways, so here I just replaced some of the top blocks with dirt so that I can grow grass on the roof. To make it look even more overgrown, I added some leaves here and there to make it look like there were bushes coming out of the roof. Okay, and I also added a tree on top of the roof to make it not look so flat flat. Okay, but watch this. I currently have the light setting to noon. Day. So much better. Oh my gosh, so much warmer. Now I just extended the slabbing over around the house. Then I realized it's super dark inside and I have to do something about it. For the main room, I decided to stick to the fencing and then for the side rooms, that's where I can do windows. To tie in my slabs, I started adding fencing here and there and I basically did this all around the house. the chimney look kind of broken down I just used stair pieces and made it look like there were a few bricks missing I used walls to make the chimney look like it was tapering at the top she is so gorgeous to me I did final touch-ups I basically just added some flower pots here and there and some hay bales to the side as well as a composter to the back um yeah I feel like this is pretty good for now my video that is all for today next time in this series i'm going to do interior design farming gardening you name it